Hey and welcome. We are doing wings today. Uh, it was one of the girls' favorite uh, snacks to have or lunch to have, so we are doing that today. Uh, I've already cleaned my chicken. Now we're in the process of I'm about to pat it dry and uh, add it to uh, at my seasoning. So I'm about to get my chicken here. Just have a paper towel down to uh, to get the the moisture because I just rinsed them up, washed them off and and stuff. So we have the the wings here. So now I'm just going to take another paper towel and kind of just pat them dry so that the it's not hot so that the moisture or the extra water that comes uh, doesn't dilute your your seasonings. So. I'm going to put them in a bag now, a Ziploc, a gallon Ziploc bag uh, with, so that I can add my seasonings. So this is just for the kids lunch today. So it's not a lot. It's not like it's dinner or anything like that. It's just a, a few, uh, a few pieces for them. So in my bag here, I'm going to add some uh, extra virgin olive oil. I don't know if you're getting this. This is a new camera right here that I'm working with. Uh, add some extra virgin olive oil to it there. Uh, and I'm going to be doing this in my foodie ninja grill. So, um, yeah, we'll see how it all goes. I'm going to add some pepper to the, to the mix. Looks like I'm running low on pepper here. Some onion powder. some garlic powder some paprika a smidgen of cheyenne or cayenne however you want to say it uh, we want the spiciness but again this is for the girls so it can't be extra spicy and then I got some razzle dazzle uh, some Texas Roadhouse seasoning to go up in here gonna add some of that which is pretty much a combination of everything that I just put in there uh, yes with a little sugar is added so that is the only thing there and then I'm gonna add some salt uh, I added salt last because, you know, if you let things marinate with salt too long, it messes up, uh, it pulls out a lot of moisture. So I have my items here in my Ziploc bag. So I'm just going to kind of squish them around like so, so that uh, the flavor is on all of them. Uh, as you can hear the girls in the back. Uh, and it's 10.52, so we have a few minutes before lunch starts. Uh, I'm looking at my my seasonings here. It looks like it's pretty much on, pretty much coating all of it right now. I think I want to add a little bit more. I don't like the, the amount of seasonings that's in there. Hopefully you can see that. Um, but no, I think I'm going to let it stay because I can smell it. And I smell pretty much everything that's uh, supposed to be on there. So we'll be back. Hey, welcome back. Uh, you can see the time now is 12.15 right behind me. We are about to put our wings into our Foodie Ninja Grill. Uh, it's about to pre, it's preheating now. So that's what we are doing. Yes, girl. Okay, go watch Shrek. I am pulling my wings out of the refrigerator and I'm going to add a little bit more salt because as you remember I didn't add as much salt into it at the beginning because I didn't want it to, to, to pull out any extra moisture. Uh, my It's already preheated and ready to go. I have the temperature set on 400 uh, in my Foodie Ninja Grill at um, yeah, so we got the, it's ready for me to add the food, as you can see. I don't know if you can see it because this camera is uh, doing it, but I'm going to mix this around one more good time like that. 
All right. So now I'm about to add my chicken into my ninja. So we've got our chicken here that we had marinating since I think 10.52, I think was the time. So now we're gonna add them in here, like so. And I have it set for 20 minutes, but we'll check the temperature uh, of the chicken. And chicken is cooked to 165 degrees. All right, so we have our chicken in, and we're gonna let it go for 20 minutes. I'll be back in a second. So the uh, wings are currently cooking. They've been in for a little bit over four minutes now. I am uh, just in here to shoot this uh, little clip here to just say hey, and thank you for viewing my page. And uh, there is, uh, I think there's two types of foodie ninja grills out there right now. This is the original model that that I have. Uh, it's bigger than the the newer one, but uh, after reading the reviews, because I was considering getting a, a smaller one, that this one, the bigger one, actually cooks wings faster, uh, believe it or not. Uh, if you don't have a uh, Ninja, you can also use your oven, uh, maybe 375 uh, to cook it on. Uh, or if you have an air fryer, you can do your air fryer as well. But uh, when cooking chicken, you want to ensure that your internal temperature of your chicken is uh, 165. Uh, I'm going to be using a thermometer here that I have. Um, but if you don't have a thermometer, you can always just break it open to make sure it's not pink inside. But yes, so we are approaching the five minute mark. I will turn the other camera on so you can actually see what it looks like five minutes in at 400 degrees uh, air crisp. Okay, we're about 10 minutes in. As you can see, my chicken has started to brown. Uh, I'm gonna give them a flip so that, you know, all sides are evenly uh, coated. As you can see, the girls have come into the kitchen now to add their commentary to the to the list. So I'm just flipping them over so that they all go, and we'll let them go for the rest of the the time. You don't necessarily have to flip them, but I like to flip them. And we're going to check our chicken one more time. Maybe give them a little flip on some of them. Uh, we don't want, you know, we want them to be golden all over. So we're just going to give them a flip one more time. You don't have to. Again, uh, depends on where you're cooking them. If you're doing them in the oven, you definitely want to flip them. But if you're doing them in a Ninja or uh, air fryer, uh, you don't necessarily have to. I just like to so that it is uh, golden on all sides. So we're gonna let it go. We got about three minutes left and I'll be back. All right, we're about 10 seconds, 15 seconds out. I'm sorry, I can't see, I'm looking the other way. Uh, so we are doing the countdown and we are just about done. Once it gets done, we are going to check the temperature. I got my thermometer on. Uh, we're going to check, as you can see, they're nice and golden, but we're not going to check the small ones. We're going to check the, the bigger ones to ensure that everybody is at 165. This is at 206 on one side. We're going to check it again on this side. Uh, 190, oh, it's going down. 184 on that one. That's the bigger one that's in this pile. Uh, we had two on that one. And two on that one. We're gonna check one more over this way. All right, this one here it was uh, 206. Let's go right here at the top. 199, still over 165. So we are good. And these are my chicken wings that the girls will have for lunch today. Thank you for watching.